everyone this is gaw tv yes that is a hashtag make sure you use that when you are joining the conversation here every wednesday with my ladies 5 p.m eastern lisa marie socal val we're excited to see you guys i love you ladies I love you. I love you. yeah yeah i love you, look, you guys all. you look so gorgeous you two tonight we're, so we're back to our slumber party today. roots I'm very excited about, I know, I'm very excited about that. But while you're here, while you're listening, make sure you hit that like button because you like us. Subscribe, that's very important. Subscribe today. Hit that bell icon. What is going on here? Uh-oh. So you never- Is it the price miss- tag? Is it the price <laughs> tag? Or the hanger, it's the hang not, part? It's a hangy tag, but it's got the, it's still got the tag. It's a long thing. hanging tag. What's going on here? <laughs> I can't. Yay. Oh and, my hey, God. comment below, everyone in the chat. Hello, hello. But make sure you go outside of this live chat. Look over here on the wall. From the windows to the walls. Go in Don't that stop. comment box. Tell us that we rock. Yeah. That we rock. I'm a damn song. We are I, rap artists. Rap I know, Mickey. I thought you were in it. Yeah. I thought you were good at yeah. it. Yeah. It's okay. It's been a long day. But don't forget our favorite part. Our after party, 6 p.m. Ooh. Eastern Standard Time on Wednesday. And all the Patreons are, are are welcome. And you also get the early version, unedited, unfiltered God TV show. So you're just getting just a little taste on the YouTube. Yes. But when you join Patreon, you get all the juicy, just juicy, the juicy. juicy. <laughs> The juicy version. That's right, Lisa. And speaking of juicy, juicy, if you love us here on YouTube, you're going to love us in podcast form. That's right. God TV is available uh, as a podcast as well. And that is the unfiltered version. So make sure you download that. And while you're downloading, you would be silly not to download the official Grown Ass Women TV theme song from Mickey James and Chapel Heart, which was also the theme for Empower. And it is the catchiest oh. tune ever. Just be warned. It's going gonna, it's gonna to stay in there. It's it is, stay it right. is. Well, and you talk about our after parties, but last week at our after party, we saw the sneak peek ski. Oh, oh my God, this has been a while. So it's been a minute. We saw the Woo. sneak peek of my, uh, the first cut of my music video, ladies. Yes. Oh, it was, oh. Yep. So congratulations Beautiful. to the Patreon guys, because you mm-hmm. saw that first. Um, and huge shout out to Legacy Subs, LegacySubs.com, you know. Got a I show my rip. biceps, but I just don't want to put anybody to shame because- Well, I don't want you to rip that beautiful robe. Please don't. Exactly. You know, so ripping it's it like a pretty. She-Hulk. She-Hulk it I'll out. be honest with you. I can't reach my hands front, um, it, too far in front of me because my lats are so jacked now. You can <laughs> play a movie on that back with the Legacy oh, Subs. Man, like a drive-in movie theater. Hold on. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> You know, Mickey, I would love to go to LegacySubs.com, but when I'm there, I wish I could get like, you know, some sort of a discount. Oh, is there a discount? Oh, it's so funny that you mentioned that because you can use the code special for you listeners, watchers, subscribers here, the code GAW, that's G-A-W. I, you may recognize it from our our TV show. Yeah. We have a TV show on YouTube. If you guys here. didn't know. Yeah. You're in it right now. If you haven't liked it yet. But yes, and now... For you ladies out there, there's an official direct site, her-legacy.com, where you can mm. go and get the, you can see the full female line. And we have a CBD line now. I was so, just going to say, you have a CBD line. Yes. And you you know have a cream, do you have a cream for your back, like your back, like helps like aches and pains too? Are you coming uh, out with that? A little, uh, yeah, we're, we're looking on that. And we're also looking at pet stuff. But yeah, I thought you were going to say, because you're so jacked because of, you know, the supplements and working yeah, out so hard. So now you need a cream to like, you know, help loosen it up. Loosen the skin so my muscles can expand a little bit bigger. Get yes. that wing spanage, that wing <laughs> fan. Wing <laughs> spanage. That is a like word. That? Gal is looking at you like, yeah, wing, wing spanage. Yeah, wing spanage. Sure, like lats like, and uh, tries yeah, and buys. Yeah, such, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Trap. Grab my it's lats. Trap. Yes. Was it, I guess traps. Grab my traps. Mm-mm. Where are those? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, that's yeah, a story yeah, yeah. for another time. Another juicy, juicy. Patreon, <laughs> hey, two hundred dollar tier. Yeah, that's, a, that's the juiciness and that. 
That's the juicy. Yeah. Part. Oh my God. We had a lot of social peaks too. We had a yeah. lot of appearances, you guys. We've been really busy, 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 busy. We oh have at least, I think you should go first because you're just coming off of uh, a fabulous, a few signings actually. Yes, I did two. Um, I landed, got ready for a virtual called um, Captain's Corner. Um, this guy was mesmerizing. I could not, you probably got the whole show of the side of my face because we did it in the same room in his hotel room. And I was just, your energy, it, his energy was off the charts. I was like, what are you on? He goes, no, I had to add coffee. And I'm like, holy crap. His energy was like off the charts. Then we did it in store at the mall. I haven't been to a mall in ages, in ages. And it was called Hideaway um, Comics, I believe. Forgive me if I'm, um, but you know, I'm following them on Instagram. It's a great store. They have a lot of Funko Pops, a lot of uh, uh, Mandalorian stuff, a lot of like, oh, it's just amazing store. It's an amazing store, which was really bad for me because I'm like, I wanted to get something, but I'm like, I'm here for business. I'm not here to spend money in the mall. When's the last time you guys went to a mall? Except you, oh, Val. I have I not been to a mall in hours. It's been an hour. <laughs> I literally was at oh, a mall. You're hilarious. I love them. It's true. I actually, it's I think the first time I went into a mall recently was when I went to go meet my friend Debbie Flood for lunch at Rainforest Cafe, and I went and I got. I love Rainforest Cafe. Present. It was fun. We had taco salads. It was lovely. It Debbie's was amazing. Lovely. She's a drummer. She's a drummer actually from Virginia, but then she's moved to Nashville. So we've, we, that's the first time we've ever met in person. We've talked and chit chatted like via Facebook friends and stuff like that. But wow. you talk about mall experiences. I don't know if you guys just saw, but on Candace's Instagram, Candace Michelle, I saw that she just ha went to the mall for the first time. You know, she's been having those panic attacks. Panic and so she just successfully went to the mall for the first time. Since. Little retail therapy is all you need sometimes, you know? That's what Dr. Val says. But before we get off track here, we do want to have- hold, uh, hold you guys back. You you and, and Candace Michelle. Val, you and Candace Michelle cannot stay away from them all. No. At all. It's no, impossible. No, I wouldn't want to separate myself from any shopping experience. But before we get off track, let's take a look now at Lisa's social peak. We've got some great videos here to show you. Check this out. This is our number one. One. Uh, 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 uh. Number two. Two. Uh, 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 uh. Do you know the, yeah, okay, Sesame Street. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, the count. Three. Uh, 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 uh. Number four. Four. I can't do the whole thing. Oh, come on. Uh, 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 uh. I'm gonna lose my voice before tomorrow's signing. Oh. Is this, is this DDP? Are you stalking me? Look Dallas. at that. Two, Diamond it, Dallas Page. Diamond Dallas Page. Page. Are you watching right now? Are you stalking? If you are, feel free to make a, make an order. Oh, we're, we're throwing up a diamond. There it is. Bang. <laughs> All right, that's for you, Dallas. Man, a long time fan. Thank you for being a friend. Ooh. Travel across the road and, and back, back again. again. Your, Your heart, heart is true. true. You're, You're a pal and a confidant. Mm -hmm. uh, Seriously, with that energy, that guy, so Nick. Fun. Nick, uh, I'll never forget it. Oh my God, so fun. But Mickey, you had an amazing um, guest appearance too. Uh, I did it. For your oh. culture. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. I had so much fun. Honestly, this, I went to, for, it's the second time I've gone, um, the Frank Brown songwriters music festival. Uh, and there's like 20,000 songwriters from all over. And it's a span of two weeks. I know it's a span yeah. of two weeks and everybody's down, um, in like Florida, Alabama, the coast that's called Florabama is the big bar, but then there's like, a, they kind of sponsor, um, Pickers Vodka, one of the sponsors, but anyway, uh, and then I got invited down two years ago, pre COVID to do the Native American tribute show because it's Native American Heritage Month. Um, so it was pretty awesome. And I was, I was super stoked. And then obviously I didn't get to go last year because it was a much more like kind of broken down. So this is the first time I've been back and it was amazing. It was amazing. I went with Sean Gassaway, who I write songs with. He helped write, you know, he was one of the writers on Grown Ass Woman as well. Uh, yeah. We sing Can I tell stuff? you something? I went to when I was at the airport. This guy next to me he was like, "Yeah, I write music in Nashville." And I go, "Well, do you know Mickey James or Sh Sean Gassaway?" And um, I played it at the airport. I'm like, "You'll never forget this song." And I played it. He was name dropping like, yeah, "Sorry, you dropped this. You dropped this. I'm drop <laughs> drop this." And I'm like, uh, "Yeah." Uh, and I was like, "Well, do you know Mickey James?" And this guy goes, "I know Mickey James. She, I, I'm a huge wrestling fan." I'm like, "She's a good friend of of, of ours." I go. Uh, you gotta, you gotta download her music. 
And so I played it at the bar and people were like, oh, I'm sorry, what's that name? Can I, what is the song called, title? And so a lot of people downloaded it. I, I love, love you that. so much for that. Lisa, you know, you spread know. the word. I'm not, I ask, I'm not asking for a percentage or anything. I'm just proud yeah, of the no, music. I'll just come I'll, in the mail. I'll, I'll be proud. Proud. Legal yeah, letter. Well, so you know, you're huge people. in drag bars as well. And if CJ's watching, our fabulous CJ, uh, husband of Ginger Minch, uh, he played it at Mary's, Hamburger Mary's here in Orlando. And people were loving it. So it was so cool Aww. to hear your music in this drag bars. I was getting my photos okay. with the drag queens. So shout out to CJ also spreading CJ. the song word. Yeah, I know. I keep wanting to catch up with them when they're in town and stuff. I know. Like, Gotta catch up in person. I was so jealous that you got to go. Yes, it was, so fun. was cool. Very so cool for Orlando Pride. But before we get to that, uh, let's take a look now at your whole fun weekend in Florida, oh. including some clips for your musical pleasure. Check this out. Oh, yes. Someone special's birthday. Oh, who's that? How old? Thirty-five. Thirty-five. I'm older. Baby. He's out of the bracket. He's out of the bracket. He's a baby still. Over thirty. <laughs> he just. <laughs> I had to, I had to check a box the other day that was like thirty-five to forty-one or something, and I was like, oh no, I, it's that's a new box. It's a new box. That's a new box. It sucks, right? Oh, weird. They, they just jacked that up, that man. Look at, imagine mine. I'm 50. What I have to click on. And I'm like, wait, well, I'm not I the still... same as a, I'm not the same as a 55 year old. No. I'm like completely, that's, you know, give me like, give me five years. I'm not, I'm not exactly that bracket yet. You know, well, I, I still maintain that I'm, I'm mid thirties by 36. You're not mid thirties anymore. So I'm going to still maintain 35 is right in the middle, right in the middle. Mid thirties. Yeah. <sighs> well, you had an amazing, amazing weekend. I have to say, I'm still in America. Hallelujah. God bless America. Uh, land of the oh, free gift with purchase. Leave. I don't want to leave. And actually, I'm very depressed today because it's coming to an end. And I'm like, I really want to see my husband and I want to go to be in my own house, whatever. But I am very emotional to leave. Emotional. It's going to be really sad. But the good news is I've been catching up with friends. And you'll never, you're never going to believe this. Who I ran into and who is going to be a future God guest by threatening verbal contract. Check this out. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, I promised you an amazing guest. An amazing guest is coming to Gaw TV. I just so happened to run into him here in Orlando. <gasps> Scott Demore. I'm De alone. Demore, I know you. Demore, I love you. Yeah, Give me a kiss right here. Can't wait to see you on Gaw TV. This is a verbal contract. Absolutely. When can I be on? As soon as, as, soon as possible. Deal. Cheers. Aaron, this is all your fault. Me? I didn't do anything. You sure did. Woo! 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 Woo
Mine's all gone. <laughs> the more you know him, the more you love him. Don't you love Scott? DeMoore? I love that guy. Yeah, I really love that guy. He is he's hilarious. Very lovable. He's also good one-liners. He has yes, a lot of one-liners. Very smart. Very witty. Yes. yes. Clever. Very clever. Witty. And I forgot, you know, obviously I hadn't seen Scott in so long, but now being at Impact, I see Scott all the time. Just- yes. He was talking about how you and Gail and Tracy and Christy were all together. And I was like, that is such a crew. And I love that. I'm so sad I couldn't be there for that at Bounce Glory. Yeah. But yeah, oh, that's like I'm old school too. TNA days. And I mean, Team Canada, when I was describing him to someone, they were like, would I know him? And I was like, no, this was like really early TNA days. Um, right. He was an amazing manager, obviously now, uh, you know, more behind the scenes, but just such a smart uh, mind for the business. Such a good dude. Well, he's um, the boss on TV. He makes all the matches. All the decisions. You know, so I got to stay in his good graces. I don't want yeah. him to put me in any crazy matches no and we'll, we'll put him exactly. on dog tv and we'll just make sure that you know we'll, we'll butter him up yeah. for you mickey we'll bribe him yeah we got your back we got your back yes <laughs> and, and, my and your front <laughs> we got all sides of you i don't know why i said that like kevin nash hey we got all that <laughs> my nash act that oh my is. gosh <laughs> oh my god and then this, we're stuff. coming up to our i do too i did too. yeah well now you know we have done favorite yet. part too what we haven't is done that? the who you drinking? What you wearing? Is That's it a very good question? Wait, hold on. <laughs> Is it what you drinking? Who you wearing? Who you drinking? What you wearing? Who you wearing? What you drink? Wearing what you drinking? <laughs> I will go first because I am going to shock the world because I am drinking a Starbs. I All saw Starbs. that. No carbs. I actually put my mango iced tea in here, but um, it is my reusable cup because we're doing it for the planet. We're going to do it like Michael Jackson said. I was going to ask you if that was a reusable cl- cup. Yeah. I can't. Because I was a little turtle. Say, oh, so it's, well, you just, you know, you just shoveled shit today from your, your, I did, you balls. guys heard me coming back from the barn. I was out of breath. <laughs> you know, I was out of breath. I was, I was shoveling. I was cleaning the stalls today. And my, my gelding has this thing where he likes to eat his food and he's got two water buckets, right? So every day I have to give him fresh water, but not because he drinks it all, but because he mouths his food over his water buckets and drops a solid third of his food in the bottom of his water bucket, of the one Aww. water bucket. So every day I have to dump it because it's about this, this thing, oh. a, a little, a little food crud down at the bottom. No, I was cleaning stalls and doing all that stuff. So food crud, food crud. <laughs> so we, we thought your, your, your cup was, uh, I, when it was recycled, because I was going to ask, what name do you put on your cups when they, they oh, like, you know, I love a good Starbucks alias. I'm Linda. Sometimes I'm Pamela, Ginger. Um, I did tell them Paige once and they put the name Peach. So I guess <laughs> they thought my name was Peach, which really popped me really huge, but this is reusable. Uh, I do love a little bit of Starbs and I have to tell you, this is my new favorite robe and nightgown mm-hmm. set bom, 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 from the <laughs> Mad Rag. <laughs> Mad Rag. Mad Rag is a store in the Florida Mall, and I love it. I got a, a show wear there, and it's very flashy, and I love it. What about you, ladies? Yeah. What are you, uh, are, are you going to be selling that robe? Are you going to be selling that robe? And if so, I might be persuaded. I might be persuaded. <laughs> if anyone wants the memorabilia after I'm done uh, sporting yeah. it, it is very comfy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm wearing a robe too. I was inspired by you, but plus because we're going back to our slumber party ways because we have an amazing sponsor today. But I had this sweet headband on because I thought okay. it would match Beautiful. the spa kind of experience here. It's a little red with a little teddy Ooh, underneath. Sexy. I actually just found this when I was looking uh, because obviously, again, it was Nick's birthday over the weekend. And I, so I was trying to find something cute that I could wear for his birthday. It didn't work out that way because, you know, the guitarist was staying, our son was there, we had company and so it just didn't happen. But at the same time, um, so I was like, oh, look, I had, still had the tags on it. I just pulled the tags off of it. That's why you saw the little oh, thing on yeah. there. I thought I got them all, but I didn't. Um, so yeah, that's what this is. Gorgeous. And I'm drinking this Pickers Unplugged Little Vodka Soda, which was one of the sponsors from the weekend. Like I said, so. For How the, is it? Uh, for Alabama, it's actually lovely, what? and I'm not a huge grapefruit drinker. Yeah, I was going to ask you: Is it really tart? It is a bit tart. It's kind of like a fresco without the like a, the fresco soda that I do, you know, that I love the fresco mm-hmm. and the vodka mixed together. And it's delicious. So it's kind of like that, but without the sweetness. You and know? what's the percentage the alcohol on that one, Mickey? Mm. What's the percentage? Five percent, ten proof. Not nothing to shake a stick at. 
Um, no. Do you guys know that they no longer serve Fresca on Delta Airlines? Unbelievable. That was the only Damn you, Delta. Get Fresca. Come on, Delta. Really, Delta? Get it together. Delta, Delta, Delta. Don't you Can know I that's the Delta? perfect mix for my vodka? Yeah. Yeah. But do but they I even serve alcohol on, on the flights? My, my flights didn't have alcohol. No, only in really? first class. Only in first, first class. And uh, like Delta Comfort will do wow. alcohol. But it really annoys them, I think. My Just flight to Pakistan had no alcohol and I was not prepared. <laughs> yeah, because you can't take alcohol there. That's a long ass certain- flight to just entertain yourself without a drink. We just usually they make a stop. Like most of those, if, if they're going like a flight, was it a direct? I don't remember. There was a couple of them did, a couple of them didn't. Like when we stopped in Bahrain, there, there was one of the flights that didn't have it, and then my last flight home did. So it's like I guess it depends on where you're coming from. But but the flight there, I was like, oh, this is gonna be long. Yeah, I don't have my thoughts. Because if it's going directly into, there's a few countries like that. And if it's going directly in, they have, but most times they'll stop and wherever they stop, they pull all the alcohol off. Yeah. I remember that with like WWE when we were doing the trip. You remember the tribute to the troops tours and we'd go to Iraq. We'd always have to stop in like Germany or uh, where was the other one? And they'd pull all the alcohol. Mm-hmm. Um, Can I tell you, I've never been um, overseas um, for the troops ever. Oh, um, and it's so funny because my dad was, I'm a U.S you know, I'm, I'm a military brat. My dad was in the yeah. Air Force. Oh, you Isn't that odd? It. Isn't that odd? But I did all the freaking Air Force base um, appearances, all yeah. that stuff, you know? Yeah. Um, you know, how do you turn that down when your dad- It was amazing. Yeah, yeah. I, I just found some pictures recently of like when Foxy and I were there, one of the, and Batista, and it was a good crew. It, I had so much fun on those tours. It was great. And some of us snuck our vodka in our bags. Oh, la la. Well, it was weird when they said we got to Islamabad. They said, "Oh, you know, there's there's a hotel where you can drink for a while." But I didn't see a damn drop. It was really weird. Just weird because it's like you kind of get in the habit after the show. Everyone has to drink a little libation, a little you know real. conversation, and it was just like, "Okay, so we're gonna go to the hotel room and drink tea together." Okay, <laughs> well, this is a change of circumstances. Hmm. What's this? Now oh, I have to really sorry. get to know you. This is weird. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have to be entertaining <laughs> and like, yeah, meet and greet. Yeah. Um, Lisa, what are you wearing and and uh, drinking? What am I? Uh, well, I am uh, wearing my robe because you guys, um, when you said, I'm, I'm wearing this robe, and then Mickey goes, okay, I got my robe, and I go, okay, I'll wear a robe, so I didn't want to be the, the oddball out of the crew, you and I'm beautiful. wearing this headband because you guys know I'm a big nerd, and this is Sailor Moon. I dressed up as Sailor Moon when I had the restaurant, the Squared Circle, back in Chicago, um, but I tried to do the blonde with the blue. Uh, it did not work out, so I just did black long beautiful back then yeah and um yeah you can get this on um lisa marie baron uh thick cartel that's it's a so pretty robe. it's pretty that. right it, it was so it, yeah but and also i'm drinking um you guys are not not well you're doing five percent i'm drinking my my wine out of my bts which is um it's a k-pop korean yeah. pop um and i'm obsessed with this band i play it on my youtube as well and it's um <laughs> there's a song it, it goes smooth like butter like a criminal undercover. I've heard that Wait, one. I forgot all the words. They're but yeah, so my niece, popular. Yeah. Oh, they're so popular. And I bought one. I, I went to do an appearance in Texas. And um, uh, I got one for my niece, too. So oh, yeah. that You yeah. do find the coolest yeah. stuff at Comic-Cons. Like, and, and Lisa does something that I always kind of forget to do. And like, we don't always think to like, go shop around. But Lisa finds the coolest, uh, most interesting merchandise. You really do. Yeah. I, I do, but I have to be, I, I always ask the fan, do they have like a squid game? Do they have attack on Titan? Or do they have like certain things that I'm into? And sure. then they'll come back to me and say, I just found a booth. And I'm like, son of a bitch. Yeah. I don't want to go shopping. I don't want to shop. I'm, I'm trying to save money. I'm a bitch on a budget. <laughs> so you justify it by go, oh, saying, if they have these things, then I'll go look. Yeah, exactly. I would, yeah. I would have never known yeah. that was a Sailor Moon thing. That's beautiful. You could use that for anything. I know, I know. Isn't it's that really cool? cool? It really, it looks like my, the robe. It my, my robe. Yes. Yeah. I, I, you, this ladies, is not for sale, though. But when, when the Zoom popped up, I went, wow, they're really pulling out the stops tonight. I'm a lucky well, lady. Impress you, Val. You always go above and beyond. And we're, oh, just trying no. to, we're just trying to get to your level, babe. I just love my- I mean, We are. We are. We're, we're like this. Oh, shit. Her hair is really extra fluffy. I got, <laughs> I'm going to put my hair in a bun. 
I got my also bad headband because I know Ella, hopefully Ella's watching. Hi, Ella. We love you. Uh, she always talks about headbands. So I was going to wear one, but then I just thought I'd go, oh, natural. Um, but before yeah. we forget, so you guys have had some amazing comments and, and feedback for our Miami episode and all of our exclusives and stuff. But we have so much more to come on patreon.com slash God TV the whole month long. We're going to be doing all of our memories from Miami. We have a photo shoot that we did. We have uh, hilarious videos of all of us in, in various situations at the beautiful Thesis Hotel. So if you were ever thinking about joining Patreon this month, the month of November is the time to do it. So check that out for sure. Ladies, I mean, I wish we had more time. Hey, in my didn't didn't it, like, so our Patreons fun. get a special gift though, Val? Didn't our, our, our Patreons get a special gift? They did. So for the month of October, we gave them, yes, a signed eight by 10. And obviously your uh, your merchandise comes yeah. the month after the, at, at, after the first, we send out all of our uh, top tier Patreons. Uh, are getting that eight by 10 gift. And if you want to know more about the rewards that you can experience on Patreon, it's all there on the website, patreon.com slash got TV. Check it out. TV. You do check Ooh. it out. You check it out. Oh my God. Um, well, yes. you know, I, I don't oh. mean to be the one to talk about uh, the elephant in the room, if you will. But I, I, <laughs> but I have to give a sh huge shout out to, again, our amazing sponsors here. Sponsor. Oh, come on. For this episode, Drunk Elephant. Look, I, I have my box here and I'll tell you why I'm keeping my box. And I've kept it in my box, Val. If you, if, I don't Me know if you're yes. inside of your box. Oh, look how cute this is. But, but remember how we were like, like Mickey, look at that, like how it, how it comes the delivered to you. No, the box is beautiful. I'm, well, I'm saving the box because I'm going to send, I told you guys before, I'm going to send this whole kit plus some a few other little extra stuff that I have from Drunk Elephant to my niece because my book, how beautiful. Ooh, we all got different, is there different items in each of our box? I'm no, not sure. You have a different we all have face. different faces. Oh, wait, you have a different face. face. I have a different face too. See what no. products are, it, it'll, it'll list the products on the side. So this, by the way, for those uh, keeping score, I home, have the same. This, I have this, yeah, we have the same one. This is the Drunk Elephant Holiday Kit. This is the nighttime kit that Mickey and I have. And look at the packaging. Look how perfect this is with so miniatures. Cute. And actually, there's some full sizes, too, of products in here. And so there's some of our favorites. So ours has the, my favorite is the uh, glycolic night serum with the pink uh, top. That's, I use that every single night. Love that. There's that also a. Uh, oh, look how cute type. it opens though. Look at the little lunchbox little side. Yeah. I know. So you can pull those out when you're done and you can use it as like a little travel case. Oh, I'm keeping mine. Oh, we all got different stuff. Mine too. Well, I also have the jelly cleanser and the F-Balm electrolyte water facial mask, which I've also had. And it's amazing. What's in yours, Lisa? Yours is different. That's what I have. Yeah. Gosh, mine is a uh, sea firma, a little travel size, um, and a big, bigger one, a bee hydra, a little travel sea tango multi eye cream, and uh, polypeptide cream. I never yeah. tried that. That one's new for me. I like that. that. I have that too. And yeah. I have can, I, can I just know. can can I just rub like a little bit of um little? I, I didn't want to tell you I got this in the mail because I asked you, hey, how big was your box that you you received? Because David goes. Dude, uh, you got a box, like humongous box. He goes, we live in a loft in San Diego. I don't have a lot of room. I don't have a closet. And he goes, where are you going to put all this stuff? And I go, I don't know. Let me open it. And I got this. Uh-oh. <gasps> wow. Can, open. And, um, can I just tell you how classy, like even the way their zippers are on this freaking suitcase, you can, you zip it and you lock it in here. And the what's inside. what's the print there? Are there little elephants on it? What, what's the if we can see it closer? No, 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 uh -huh. no. Uh, they're just little little flowers, I believe. Oh, cute. Yeah. I That's wish it did so say nice. drunk elephant so I could be promoting them as I'm going to the airport. But I I needed a new carry on. I'll be honest with you. Perfect. And they yeah, have all those blessing. Like, Huge shout out to them. Huge shout out. And Ellie, who we deal with, uh, has been so lovely. And they just, they, they've completely spoiled us. Uh, so thank you to Drunk yeah. Elephant, uh, our official sponsor, our favorite skincare. And I'll tell you what, everyone that we've ever talked to that's used this is so glad that we've introduced it to them. Because listen, I have tried a lot of skincare. And we do always yeah. talk about the fact that we all have different skin tones, different you know complexions. And we are all really, really in love with these products. So thank you to Drunk Elephant so much. So well, that's why and Mickey, I have Mickey, it. You're, you're also going to keep yours because you have a friend. Well, um, no, I, that's what that's what I was going to say is that, that I love them so much. And I have 
you know, so much of their skincare that I love. And I still have from our last, you know, episode, a few pieces. And I was like, my niece who she's 20 now, but she's always, she has eczema. So she gets her, her elbows. She'd probably be upset, but she'll see it. But anyway, she, so she'll sometimes wear long sleeve shirts and stuff like that. And just, it makes her certain things make her break out. And I don't know why I hadn't thought about that, but when this came, I go, I said, I'm going to send this to my niece because I think this will really help her with her because she has to be careful of like any additives or anything that she has um, yeah. in the uh, stuff. And so I was going to send it to her and see how it did with her. Yeah. I think she's really going to, cause you my know, my sister-in-law has eczema too, and- really bad. Does she get it really bad in her hairline too? Like A little here, bit. It's hairline? more in her, like, um, but on her elbows. knees, behind her knees and her elbows and on her elbows a bit, like she gets it there. And then there's certain places it'll break out. But I think those are the two that she's most. Um, I so have I was a question. Send does, the body does wash eczema, as well. Okay. I have a question, Mickey. Does um, sunbathing, does that help eczema? I don't even, I don't know much about it for my sister-in-law. She had to switch her diet as well. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Organic, organic. Friendly. Or keto. Yeah. The good thing about the drunk elephant products is that's really what they extol and, and, and really try to get in people's minds is that listen, yeah. you don't need those fragrances. There's there's six ingredients that you'll find uh, that they have taken out of the skincare. It's it's, it's very, very um, you know, no fragrances, none of these chemicals and dyes and things that we don't need. So for that reason, that might actually really work for her, Mickey. I hope it does. It's gonna be, I can't wait to see. I was gonna ask her, I was gonna have her try it and try some of the stuff that I've like pulled for her. So I was waiting to do this episode before I sent this box to her um, so we could talk, but yes, uh, I was going to s- send some of my favorite stuff and then maybe like the hair wash and stuff to see oh how my God, their goes. hair products are also really good. I wasn't sure how I'd like the hair product. I have very um, high maintenance hair, if you can't tell. Yeah. Uh, and it's really, really good. Well, when you all- I like that, that scrub. Saving I like that scrub. And that, it's it's like scrub. I said before, you need to recommend that to your mom. Mickey, that scrub, like my hair, like it's, it's, it, you can smell a little vinegary. So like you, when you scrub it, but you scrub it, you leave it on for 15 minutes mm-hmm. and then you take a shower and wash it and use their products to wash your hair, wash your hair. And, um, it made my hair grow faster. It unblocked a lot of nice uh, the follicles, like, what is it, the follicles. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ooh, the so pores weird. and stuff like that. So I'm wondering for your mom, I would that probably that. work out really well. That yeah, scalp yeah, scrub yeah. is fantastic. It's got a pink um, top. So if you guys are looking on the yeah. Drunk Elephant website, which of course is just drunkelephant.com, easy to remember. But yeah, we cannot talk about these products enough. And again, we all have different skin, skin tones. We're in different climates, different ages. And I think that that speaks really volumes about how we all loved it separately. We have our own favorite products and stuff, but yeah, right. that butter, remember the butter, the makeup melting butter? <gasps> I use it the after butter. every TV, after every, that's probably the number one You mentioned, and thank you, Val, because you're the really the one who kind of introduced us to these products, but that butter, I use it after every TV, it gets everything Mm -hmm. off my face. And and water, waterproof mascara too. Yeah. Right. It's like thick HD makeup for television and stuff. So it's like a lot. And then the eyelashes and the glue. And sometimes I'll find like when I'm washing a lot of products, I have to put like oil and I always do to try to help get the eyelash glue and all this stuff. Oh yeah. So especially around the eyes and then you feel like you rub your eyes that stuff just like yeah it never irritates your eyes because sometimes it all those um makeup removers and stuff can get in there yeah yeah right and yeah you were the one that recommended me like a long time ago before drunk elephant um that the drag queens use ponds and i bought ponds yes now i don't i no longer use that yeah no i don't think that works nearly as well because like mickey said it's really really heavy duty and it is like a butter the consistency is amazing and i have to say that's what i do too mickey when i have like a full full face on you know, makeup white's not going to cut it. That butter is just, it's like butter. It's like butter, butter baby. <laughs> it's like butter. butter. Yeah. Like butter. Well, ladies, what do we have coming up? I mean, obviously uh, we're all excited for Thanksgiving and, and some travels. I know I'm going to Paris in a couple of weeks, so that'll be exciting. I'll get lots of social peaks. I wonder how I say social peak in, in French. We got to ask uh, Anthony. Anthony. Social peak. If you're in the chat, let us know how to say social peak in uh, French, please. But I'm excited for that. And Remy, where's Remy been? Remy had dropped off on Patreon. Remy, we love Remy. He's French. We love Remy. He is. Totally. Oh my gosh. But what do you guys have? What what do you have? Yeah. Go ahead, Mickey. Oh, uh, I'm trying to think. Well, I have Turning Point coming up at the end of the month. Um, 
in Sam's Town, Las Vegas. I love Sam's I love Town. Town. That they just announced that uh, the next pay per views after that in January is going to be in Dallas, Texas. So j- you guys know I'm a Dallas Cowboys fan, right? We know. I already looked it up. The last game of the season is at the Dallas Cowboys Stadium on the second, which would require me to go and stay in Dallas for a very long time. However, I'm like, it's the last game of the season. So I feel I love, like- oh, I love Dallas Housewives. I know you do. I know we you know. Do. So Big that's, hair. that's, not that's where January. you're from, Texas. That's not after until after the new year, after my anniversary. Um, WrestleCade. Oh, WrestleCade, we have together. Lisa. Nikki, uh, I'll be at WrestleCade too. ODB, Gail, Melina, like- Oh my God. I just told big, OB, huge OB reunion. staying at the same hotel that we're staying at. I know. I know. I'm so jealous. Not gonna I'm so her. jealous. Not We're going to have some good social peaks from that. If you guys are all together, look out. Oh boy. I'm so excited. That might be Patreon exclusive. We don't know how might wild be, we get at the wrestle case. Uh-oh. 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 Oh my God, I'm talking to Scott Demore about Samstown because I stayed in Samstown for, I think we had a TNA show there, but there was also an ROH show that I worked for Fight TV. And I was like, I remember one of the, the bedrooms was really kind of like odd kind of decor. And I was like, Scott, you know, do you have like a weird kind of like vintage looking sheets and like gold bar and he goes i don't know i had a suite and i was like oh well excuse me sir uh, yeah he's fancy the boss as mickey said i was the like oh that are fancy yeah i did yeah. not uh see the suites of the sands town but gosh i love going to vegas how exciting and how do i get oh. on the sweet list yeah seriously sweet scott because you're too sweet because you're too, too sweet, sweet. I was like, yeah, thank you. get out of my head too sweet scotty d <laughs> Scotty D, that's so cute. Well, ladies, this has been such fun. And I know that there are a lot of people in the chat room and on Twitter and on our Instagram that have been asking for a specific guest that Mickey has pulled some strings because she's Mickey James and has secured this guest for us next week. Yeah. Who's it going to be, Mickey? I'm so excited to have Kiara Hogan, the hottest flame. And we were calling her the hottest free agent, but she's not a free agent anymore because she's signed Ooh. with AEW now. Yeah. I love this girl so much. I've known her since she was, before she even got into wrestling, she used to come to wrestling shows and music. She would come to my music shows. Like that's how oh, she did. Yeah. We'll have to go. Post well, she loves her. you too, obviously from her so post. Yes, yeah, so we media. saw she got on a, we'll have to talk to her about it. Um, she got very emotional. Uh, yeah. And that video. We'll save like, that, clip. We'll say that clip wrestle. for our show. We finally what? wrestled in it. Well, we finally had a chance to wrestle at NWA, which I think that neither one of us ever really thought was going to happen, you know, because yeah. she was, I've watched her grow and do so much since, um, and now to see what she's doing. But yeah, it finally happened. We, we had a wrestling match. A, ra- a professional wrestling on, contest? A professional wrestling contest on the NWA um, special empowered uh, edition of NWA Power. Mm. on fight tv you can go watch it <laughs> yeah no it's big deal it right no, she, like the way she it plugs was, it in i it was love fun. Her. it was yeah, a fun she's such good she's just got such great energy and personality so i'm excited to have her on next week yeah yes that's exciting and she's well, very in, in high demand yes she is yeah because yeah, she's kira hogan this is akira hogan welcome to our show um kira. so tune in next week you're for in for and, it yes and you are in for it if there's someone that you haven't seen on God TV yet that you'd like to have uh, as a future guest, please just either say it in the live chat as, as we're here, or please, if you're watching on replay, drop us a comment here and tell us who you'd like to see on God TV. Yes. But I know that I always love seeing you too. Lots of love always. to you ladies. Love to our fans. And thank you guys for being here. Cheers. Mm. Guess Cheers. Guess what's next, you guys. Cheers. Cheers. Guess where we're going right now. Where are we going? Well, the after party. party. <laughs> what did you say, Mickey? What did you say, Mickey? Top of the hour. Top of the Top hour. Of the hour. That's right. Six Top of the hour. Eastern, we're going to go uh, change into something more comfortable. And we're going to meet all of you guys on patreon.com slash God TV. Everyone's welcome to join us for a live Zoom after party, just like this, except it stars all of you as well. So we'll yes. see you on Patreon. Make sure you subscribe to our channel right here. And we're going to get ready for the after party. It's going to get juicy, juicy. All the juice, baby. Mm. All the juice. And Cheers. thank you, Drunk I Elephant. Love you, we ladies. love you. Love you. I'm going to be a drunk elephant at the after party. That are. sun is really blinding, eh? Oh, no. <laughs>